Hilda received a signal from her dad, so she and her friends travel to Tufton to rescue him. Her mom, Joanna, tries to call her, but she won't pick up, so she decides to go look for her. Hilda and her friends reach the fairy mound. They notice that the holes from where they were dug out are gone. Hilda isn't worried, since she has her auntie's charm. She grabs the walkie and goes through the borderlands and the fairy mound. She spots a boat and boards it with twig. It takes her to an eerie place. Hilda reunites with her dad, Anders, and hugs him. She also meets Victoria Van Gale. Victoria takes them to her hideout, which she set up into a makeshift broadcasting system. Anders explains that that night at the castle ruins, when the troll came for him, he felt arms around him pulling him backwards away from the troll. He adds that he and Victoria have been trying to contact the outside world. Hilda got his message and that's why she came. Her friends are on the other side of the fairy mound, waiting to dig them out. Anders fixes the boat, but a creature spots him and sounds an alarm, causing a storm. Hilda and co. rush to the beach and board the boat. Victoria gives them a push and bids them farewell as she chooses to stay behind. Joanna manages to find Frida and David. She wants to dig Hilda out, but the two kids won't let her. Hilda and her dad paddle. Hilda then has a vision of two cloak spirits. She and her dad keep paddling and reach the shore. They resume their journey on foot and struggle to walk with the strong winds. Hilda tells her friends via the walkie to dig them out. David and Frida try, but they get thrown out. Frida uses a spell and opens a portal. Hilda manages to go through it with the help of David. Anders and Twig are all safe, but Joanna is still inside. Hilda is shocked to hear that. She chooses to go through the portal before it closes. She climbs the stairs of a huge cliff and ends up in a magical scenic place. There she meets a girl sobbing and looking for her parents. They explore the island and have fun together. They go to sleep and the next morning, Hilda meets Auntie Astrid and sees the girl's mom lurking about. She and the girl chase after the mom and follow her into the cave. The girl reunites with her parents. It turns out the little girl is Joanna. Hilda gasps in shock upon seeing her mom and her grandparents. Joanna then confronts her parents for abandoning her when she was 10 years old. Astrid shows up, and Joanna accuses her of doing some fairy magic to make her forget. Joanna's parents promise to explain everything. They use magic and show her flashbacks of their childhood. Joanna's mom, Lydia, was playing the flute when she met Finium and his sister Astrid. They invited her to play with them, and despite the fact they were forbidden from interacting with humans, they would play together in the overworld. Soon after, Finium and Lydia started dating. Lydia got pregnant, and Finium decided not to go back to fairy country. Joanna was born, and things were good for a little while. But then Joanna became sick, and the doctors tried everything. Her parents asked the island for help, and the spirit promised to save the girl on one condition— the spirit said that in 10 years she would return and they would give the girl to her. Lydia and Finium agreed, but after 10 years they couldn't let them take her, so they made another bargain and went in her place. Astrid apologizes to Joanna and gives her back her memories with her parents. The whole family shares a group hug. Hilda is excited to learn that she's part fairy, but then Astrid explains that the bargain has been broken as the parent and child are reunited. Hilda will never be allowed to leave the island. Hilda assures her mom that they will find a way to leave the place. Joanna tells her daughter that the island is an incredible place. They can discover it this time together as a proper family. Hilda and her family enjoy a delicious meal together. Hilda is sad that she won't see her friends ever again. Her family take her to a watchtower and show her the tool of the fairies for abducting people without setting foot on the mainland. Finium turns it on and it connects with the tower where Victoria is. A bright light emanates and Hilda sees her two friends calling and looking for Twig. Lydia and Finium explain that they've been watching Joanna. They also helped and brought Hilda's dad there. Hilda is thrilled to learn this because it means that they can use the tower to travel between worlds. But Astrid explains that the machine is only designed to take. Hilda spots Twig with Loam. She doesn't want to bring him to the island. She expresses her frustration to her family because her friends are looking for her, so she wants to honor them and do everything to get back to the other side. Frida and David find Twig and apologize to him. 
Frida then uses her magic to make him a little louder. Hilda wants to talk to the entity that runs the island. She tells her mom that the island is a dream and it's not real. She reminds her that Lydia and Finium are just a memory and nothing has changed for them since they arrived there. Hilda is afraid that if they stay there, nothing will be new. Just then, a bright light appears in the sky. Hilda sees the deer foxes and readies herself to leave. But the island won't let them leave since it has a claim on Joanna. Astrid urges Joanna to leave with Hilda. Joanna doesn't want to separate from her parents, but she decides to accompany her daughter as she doesn't want to rob her of her future. Finium helps Joanna and her daughter leave, but the mushrooms stop them. Astrid heads into the creepy cave and talks to the fairy entity. She requests that the spirit switches her life claim and takes her instead of Joanna. The spirit denies her request. Hilda and her mom are surrounded, but luckily Twig shows up with the deer foxes. A fight ensues between them and the mushrooms. The ground starts to shake and a chasm appears separating Twig from Hilda. Hilda and her mom suddenly start flying. The deer foxes, Twig, Hilda and Joanna manage to cross to the other side. Joanna suddenly feels sick and collapses. Meanwhile, Astrid is still bargaining with the spirit. She is willing to trade her life, and the spirit accepts the bargain this time. Hilda cries as she thinks that her mom is dead, but she comes to feeling great. Hilda believes that Astrid traded her life for their freedom, but when they go to her house, they see her alive and kicking. Astrid explains that the spirit was about to take her life when Victoria showed up through a portal, and offered the spirit a bargain. Astrid then got banished forever. Hilda joins her family and her friends. They have tea and cake together. Lydia and Finium watch over them smiling.